Manchester United players love what Hannibal Medjbri did to Leeds United supporters. Hannibal Medjbri may have left Manchester United last month, but he is still appeasing them after riling up the Leeds supporters during Burnley's 1-0 win in West Yorkshire. Former Manchester United midfielder Hannibal Mabry helped Burnley to a 1-0 win over Leeds on Saturday. The Clarets were victorious at Elland Road in a huge game at the top of the championship thanks to a first-half strike from Luca Coliosho. Hannibal, who left United on a permanent deal to join Burnley last month, started his third successive match and has made the number 10 berth his own since arriving at Turf Moor. The 21-year-old played 73 minutes against Leeds before being replaced by Josh Cullen as the Clarets tried to see out the three points. As Hannibal was walking around the pitch, he was taunted by the Leeds fans. That is, of course, unsurprising considering he played for United and was branded a S. S. Sideshow Bob during a FA Youth Cup game in 2020. The Tunisian made 13 first-team appearances for United, scoring once. When Hannibal made his way to the traveling Burnley fans, he clapped and applauded them before turning around and lifting his arms to his side right in front of the lead supporters in the South Stand. It was a gesture that riled up the home faithful even more, having witnessed their team be frustrated by the Clarets. After the game, Hannibal then decided to take to Instagram to react to the game, and he couldn't help fire a cheeky message to the United fans. In a post, Hannibal said, Always good to play those type of games, even better when you bring the three points at home, followed by the winking face emoji and the blue heart emoji. Ex-United teammate Harry Maguire was among those to react to the post. The 31-year-old commented with two clapping hands emojis. Kabi Maynu also replied, while Burnley players James Trafford and Jaden Anthony saw the funny side to what Hannibal wrote. Hannibal Mabry may have parted ways with Manchester United last month, but the fiery midfielder is still making waves that are catching the attention of his former club. During Burnley's 1-0 victory over Leeds United in West Yorkshire, Hannibal's actions on the pitch stirred emotions, particularly among the Leeds supporters. His relentless energy, tough tackling, and fiery demeanor are traits that endeared him to United fans, and it seems those qualities remain as strong as ever. Despite leaving Old Trafford, Hannibal's passion and commitment to causing disruption in opposing teams have not diminished. Throughout the match against Leeds, he showcased the tenacity that United fans had come to know him for. His ability to get under the skin of opponents while maintaining a solid performance is something that has become synonymous with the Tunisian international's playing style. In the high-stakes atmosphere of the West Yorkshire clash, Hannibal's combative nature was in full display. He was involved in several skirmishes with Leeds players and took every opportunity to rile up the opposition crowd. His role in breaking up Leeds' rhythm and frustrating their midfield was crucial to Burnley's eventual victory. What made Hannibal's performance particularly satisfying for United fans was the fact that Leeds have long been one of their bitter rivals. Even though he's no longer donning the red shirt, Hannibal's actions on the pitch seemed to carry echoes of that old rivalry, endearing him further to the United faithful. His display reminded many of the passion and fire he brought to Manchester United during his time at the club, where his fearless attitude made him a fan favorite, even if he was not always a regular starter. It's clear that Hannibal's departure from Manchester United hasn't dulled his edge or his willingness to fight for his team. His ability to get under the opposition's skin while also performing his midfield duties effectively shows that he has retained the characteristics that made him a standout at United. Even after leaving Manchester United, Hannibal continues to make his former club proud, albeit from afar, by maintaining the high-energy, never-say-die attitude that made him a standout talent in their academy. The fact that he caused such a stir among Leeds fans is likely to amuse United supporters, keeping his connection to the club alive, even as he forges his path with Burnley. Former Manchester United midfielder Hannibal Majbury played a pivotal role in Burnley's 1-0 victory over Leeds United at Elland Road on Saturday. 
The intense clash, significant in the championship promotion race, saw Burnley emerge triumphant thanks to a first-half goal from Luca Cagliosho. Hannibal's performance, full of grit and energy, was instrumental in disrupting Leeds' flow and ensuring the Clarets maintained control for large portions of the match. Meanwhile, Ahmad is forcing Eric Ten Hag signing to accept new role at Manchester United. Ahmad is living up to his preseason hope and, for now, is forcing Eric Ten Hag to admit defeat in one transfer endeavor at Man United. Eric Ten Hag's transfer trend meant that 80% of Manchester United's starting defense against Southampton, goalkeeper included, were former Ajax players. One saved a penalty, another scored, and a third, Lisandro Martinez, was one of the men of the match. For all the criticism aimed at the United boss, if there was any game to justify this transfer knack, it was this one. Ten Hag has been keen to underline that, while his signings have the commonality of being players he's formerly worked with, it is not an intentional policy. First of all, it is club decisions. None of them is only my decision, he said in August. It is a decision made by more than just one. But some you know also players and personalities and it has to fit also in the finance. While the aforementioned transfer trend has largely continued with Matai's De Ligt and Nusser Mazraoui, it's hard to argue that another ex-Ajax player, Antony, would have fit the finance under the current regime. The £85 million signing has left fans feeling short-changed with just 11 goals and 5 assists in 83 matches. Antony remains the second most expensive signing in United's history, but can count on one hand the number of minutes he has received this season. Substituted on for Ahmad in the 90th minute at Brighton, he came on in time to see Joao Pedro score a stoppage time winner for the Seagulls. And to add to the Brazilian's frustration, the man he replaced that day is firmly keeping him out of the team. Ahmad was United's most potent attacking threat with the team under the cosh before the opener against Southampton. He was involved in the team's first three openings of the game before Andre Onana's penalty save inspired a change of the tide, De Ligt heading home a few phases later. Ahmad also recorded an assist for Marcus Rashford's strike. His reward was being allowed to complete a full 90 minutes for the first time in a senior United shirt. More such occasions are bound to follow this season. I want to step up this season because I am so motivated and I am so excited, the Ivorian said, ahead of the start of the season. So far, so good. The attacker only needs another goal to match Antony's tally for the whole of last season, having already equaled his 2023-24 Premier League count. He is currently making Ten Hag concede defeat regarding the most expensive signing of his managerial career. Of course, there will be a chance for Antony to come in and react. Ahmad has not yet completed a full senior season at United, which is one of his objectives for this term having suffered injury for the first half of the last campaign. Rotation will be necessary, and so Antony's first start of the season will likely come against Barnsley in Tuesday's League Cup clash, although Saturday goalscorer Alejandro Garnacho, able to play on the right, might want a say on that. But Ten Hag's little use of Antony up to this point is quite ominous. Sir Jim Ratcliffe has been keen to clear out Deadwood both in the boardroom and in the playing squad, as seen throughout this year. Some would already place Antony, 24, in that category, and there were even speculative links with a late loan to Turkey this summer. That always seemed unlikely given Jadon Sancho's departure for Chelsea left fewer realistic right-wing options. But the fact United are planning to bring in a winger within the next few transfer windows is an indicator of what the new regime thinks of the depth of the current stock. There is still time to perform a seismic U-turn in form, but for now Antony must accept his new role as the backup to Ahmad, who is giving Ten Hag little other option. Ahmad Diallo has been making waves at Manchester United, and his performances are beginning to force Eric Ten Hag into reconsidering his initial plans for the young winger. 
The 21-year-old Ivorian, who had been a standout in preseason, is starting to live up to the high expectations placed on him when United signed him from Atalanta. Ahmad's recent form is prompting Ten Hag to rethink some of his summer transfer decisions and possibly alter his tactical approach. Coming into the season, Ahmad was seen as a promising talent, but many believed he would need more time to mature into a regular first-team player. After spending last season on loan at Sunderland, where he impressed with his flair, creativity, and ability to deliver in big moments, the Ivorian returned to United with a new level of confidence. This preseason, he set out to prove that he could challenge for a spot in United's competitive attack. While United's summer signings had bolstered their attacking options, it seems Ahmad's rise is creating a dilemma for Ten Hag. Meanwhile, 